Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is PS Does Book Reviews where I talk about the books that I've been reading lately. And one of the books that I've been reading lately, it's this one by Neil Gaiman. It's called Black Dog. It's um, a sort of a follow-up to American Gods, another very famous uh, novel book by Neil Gaiman. This is considerably shorter, as you can see. It's a bit slimmer than American Gods. American Gods was quite thick, especially the version I read was like... Uh, special edition with it's called editor's choice editors not director's cut but i think it was editors editor's choice which was slightly thicker had more more chapters in there uh, according to what i read um so yeah but let's talk about uh, black dog so neil gaiman made this whole world where gods walk among us and american gods was the main volume about that he also wrote the nancy boys i believe the nancy boys was even written prior to American Gods? I'm not sure anymore. Probably after. Yeah, probably after, now that I think about it. And then he wrote this Black Dog, and Black Dog is set with well, the main character from American Gods, uh, or Shadow Moon, and he apparently is visiting uh, Britain by reasons unknown, and he comes across this nice little uh, town and gets to know a few of the people there. And there are some paranormal activity which is related to the American Gods uh, whole theme, uh, which kind of makes sense. So, very bizarre thing. The beginning is pretty normal, but at the end it starts having a lot of weird supernatural twists, which still make sense in a very Neil Gaiman way, so I really enjoy the reading. Also, the visuals are very interesting. Um, I believe there was a re-edition of the, all three volumes, Nancy Boys, American Gods, and this Black Dog, in this special cover edition by uh, Daniel Agnes. And Daniel Agnes did some illustrations for this book in particular. I'm not sure if he did illustrations for the re-editions of the other ones. But as you will see soon, he does some very interesting work. And the whole motif of the book is quite dark. So uh, his drawings are all a bit abstract, but human-shaped and um, evoke like uh, blood or animal traits. Very raw, very visceral kind of thing, which is, which is pretty cool. This almost looks like a wolf or a dog. So... So yeah, I really like this. I, you know, I love Neil Gaiman. If you follow my channel for a while, I talk a lot about Neil Gaiman because I really like, I've been trying to read his whole, um, it's not discography, what's it called? Bo bo bookology? Everything that he's ever written. I, I've, I've read most of it, probably, well, he probably wrote a lot of stuff that it's not like publicly uh, available. Most of the stuff that is printed and is highly rated, I've read it already. This one I hadn't read yet, so I picked it up now. So yeah, I love Neil Gaiman as an author. He has a very uh, vivid imagination. I really like the settings that he comes up and the veracity that he makes the, the whole world. Like, it, it seems very... Uh, vivid, visual, cinematic, but also introspective at the same time. So I really like uh, those qualities of him. Um, some of the books he has written, they are they feel a bit like you need to read the same page a few times. That part I don't like as much, but this one I didn't feel uh, that, that vibe at all. Uh, it flowed pretty well, so um, I have to recommend Black Dog. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.